Alright guys, welcome back to some more Knackle D&D! More chaos. <laughs> so when we last left off, I was busy talking to the... Diviner? Divination? What, what's her term? Mage? Yeah, the Fortune Divination teller. Mage. Fortune Teller, yeah. To Diviner. see where Wait, the, uh... To see where the hag head ended up going. Because I was concerned about it being thrown around and hidden somewhere in a city where they know we walked in with one. Yeah, that is a thing. Why does Dawn have a dot on her eye? Crit! She's sand. Crit, remove that. Jemima uh, Undertale. Da, 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 da. Crit? No! <laughs> Not even the right eye. Level. The other eye, Crit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm invisible now. <laughs> anyway, Danny, if you want to continue... <laughs> So, we last left off with uh, Adrian and Johan in a kind of a stare down. <laughs> um, but so we're gonna go back to Ghost because you were in, you were talking to her still trying to get some information. All right. So. So you go Oof. in, you ask for the items. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, sorry. Let's well, see. That's there's a puppy. Dogs. Um. Can we change what I'm asking about to be asking more about the puppy? No. <laughs> he says, well, I can... If it's a locating item, I'll do it for ten gold. Okay. Um, just simply put your hand on the orb. Alright. As, uh... like, fan out once again, covering her already covered face. <laughs> Why do you want to find a head? <laughs> so, you, you touch the orb? Yep. Okay, instantly when you touch it, it begins to glow. But then you notice as it starts to feel colder and colder and colder. Oh, as, boy. Uh, as, like, it begins to freeze over and, like, ice over the entire top of the table. I'm glad you're uh, I'm going to look to her and be like, dollar. yeah, I'm sorry that happens sometimes. <laughs> With a cock dot, or... But the cocktail is like peculiar. You're cursed. Yay! <laughs> is everyone in this goddamn party except me cursed? I'm okay. not. You have Wait, a no, warforged no. arm okay. attached to you. I'm sure there's something there. Crit, out of the original group, it's everyone but, Z but Zeradar. You don't have a blight similar to theirs, but. This is definitely concerning. Yay. How long have you felt afflicted? Um, let's see. That was. was it since the tournament? Time. Since you or got this, the Is armor. this something from the armor? You don't know. Remember when that thing climbed in your mouth? Probably then. Episode like saying things. I don't eight? even see it. Oh, there it is. No, this was, this, I... was, this was once I went back to the coin room in my mind. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Episode 10? I don't fucking know. Clay has been on a trip. Um, Although, to be fair, I don't know if it's a curse or a 10, yeah. blessing. Just, that's, it's peculiar. Wonderful. Um, to answer the question you did try to find... Uh, your companions have it. Ah, that's good. I was hoping they weren't throwing around, you know, a cursed hag's head in a city, you know, and causing people problems. Well, just as a little bit of fair information, since it seems to be a common effect in your team composition here, it's not a divine curse. That's not good. Hm. Um doesn't it's not something from a god or from a demon or something it's something else we something get rid of the older curse. Oh, yeah no it. yeah I, I i can see it being something older yep yeah. mm -hmm. so fair fair words to warning and now if that is all you are free to go all right i will exit 
and meet up with the rest of them who have recovered things. In the no robo corner. I'm just saying, um, the second you get out of the door, you do see that other Eden. Oh, the second, right. The second, this this is kind of where we left off. The second you walk out of the curtain room, you see that robed, black-haired Eden unlocking the door over here. One. Yeah. Which, uh, Don? Yeah. Once again, I am sorry. But I'm using old art. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Ah, yes, the Eden that has no color. I mean, the monochrome Eden. For art. I but... didn't think about it. You could have asked. <laughs> um, <laughs> it works. Oh, you notice that he does give you a glance. And it's like it's not a friendly glance. You can all you can just automatically tell that. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm you know, a lot of the people I randomly meet look at me in like anger and disgust, so you know, I'm actually kinda used to it. No, there's there's like there's no malice, there's no anger, it's just it it's just a not a friendly glance. Chairman Half. <laughs> Go speak to him. But like I like so, I, I mean, I'm obviously I recognize him as you know one of the alternates that you, because you mentioned him, but uh, like just tear him in half, grab him by each shoulder and pull. <laughs> That's your. I, I, I just, I'll purpose. just, I'll just give him a wave and say, "See you later, Adam." Uh, you will try to look his... like. I'm sorry. Do I know you? Oh, you bumped into my friend earlier. Your guest has mentioned, uh, how earlier. Here, uh, as, like, you know, like, as he turns, he has kind of a little flask with him. Like, it's not been a long day. It's been quite a long day. She came up to you, thought you were somebody else. Oh, that one. <laughs> that one. Mm. Hair, as he just, like, and on a heel, turns back and starts walking towards the door again. <laughs> tear him, tear him in half. Tear him in half. I have no reason to tear him in half or anything. Then feed him to Eden. No. Yes. No. Fine, Ivan. Ivan probably uh, would eat it. Ghost, as you leave, you easily catch up with your party. So how did it go? Well, I froze over the table, but I found out that you already found the head. <laughs> so, you know, mixed blessing. I'm apparently cursed, but not you cursed. It's hard to tell, you know. They were ahead of the game. usual. You missed the fun show of watching these two have an altercation. <sighs> Am I still being, like, beat out by the robot? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, roll the deck save. Good go with yes. Crit, roll on athletics. I think you're still getting beat up. Yeah. Alright, alright. Johan, Johan, Johan. You need to stop. Serene's <laughs> just gonna kind of laugh at the whole situation. I'm giving you an order to stop beating up on... Um, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't want to keep beating him up. I got the head back. <laughs> <laughs> the DM's putting actions in my then fists. No. Then no. <laughs> Alright, are you two gonna be okay with each other? As there was well. never anything wrong in the first place. He just randomly attacked me. Um. <laughs> just. He protected do anything. But he also attacked. Adrian? What? That was almost a natural 20. But I it wasn't. Roll a wisdom save? <laughs> you are shamed. Dang. <laughs> Damn, you, you, you are slightly afraid. Adrian. Nothing happened. I didn't do anything. You need to stop antagonizing. You need to stop antagonizing Johan. And Johan? Yes. There are more peaceful and polite ways of dealing with things than trying to beat up our party members. How big All is... of them less direct. I don't care. 
How big is Johan's compartment? I mean, could I stuff a halfling head. in there? No, I'm not going in there. No, because <laughs> I'm like Just Dawn... share some space with Patrice. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I was thinking Don could dimension door into your stomach. You have to see it. No, you don't. If you know, if you know what's on the other side, you don't have to see it. Though, That's isn't there rules about sketchy? I mean. If you know what's there, you're fine. Uh, dimension door is you teleport yourself from your current location to any other spot within range. You arrive at exactly the spot desired. It can be a place you can see, one you can visualize, or one you can describe by stating distance and direction, such as 200 feet straight downward, or upward to the northwest at a 45 degree angle, 300 feet. <laughs> yeah, dimension door is just, just, dimension door is just great. <laughs> and if you arrive in a place that would already be occupied by an object or creature you and any creature traveling with you each take 46 force damage and the spell fails to teleport you <laughs> so it's so also pain <laughs> so, so you can only teleport into his stomach if you can fit in it yeah that's why I asked huh is it a safety compartment for Dawn no no especially with Patrice in there <laughs> Definitely you not. could fit maybe half a Dawn in there Okay. I mean, I'm okay. sure she can curl up pretty small, but at the same time, no. Not a challenge. <laughs> it is not a challenge. What? No. What? No. What roll, though? No. Uh, it slices. No. It does. Okay, so now what, small. Danny? Excuse me? I mean, you guys have the floor here. You have a mission. You. Yeah, let's go. So, how would you guys like to proceed? Where are we going? Weren't we told to explore um, town, like, not towns, like shops and stuff around here? Look around to see if we can find any evidence of um, something of the eggs being planted in places because, like, they're in bottles. No. I, was, I was about to say you're asking the wrong person. Glad you what took to do. notes. I left for fifteen minutes. I took to notes. Culver's. I watched the episode again. I took notes. To the weapon shop. I still didn't watch the 15 minutes I missed. Well, good. That your in-character knowledge is equal to your out-of-character knowledge. Yep. All right, Sky. I see what you did there. I'm going to make it better. What? I didn't do that. People are destroying my, my token. Okay, so you guys are going to head to another store first? Well, that's what the lady suggested. Well, we went to the blacksmith already, so... Well, we didn't really... Did you guys look around for anything that could have been planted? Uh, we have a- we've planted something. No, <laughs> I mean, for any evidence that someone might have put something there. Like, I don't know what to look for. That's just the problem. Like, I don't know what to look for. I'm gonna be honest, from... I don't remember the ending of last episode. Well, we know what the party looks like, so we can ask the shopkeepers if they've seen it. We know that they're an oh, uncommon yeah. grouping of yeah. people. We're looking for the, the to Bolton them, right? You didn't didn't the lady say that the the blue dragon thingy had died? No, these? no, okay, no. So one, you right? guys had the black dragons had killed off another one of them, which was a black one, but there's okay. a blue one running around. Okay, I thought she said that the blue one was dead. No. Okay. We, the black one is dead. We, it, it, that's the thing in the more notes part, yeah. right? Handout? Yeah. The, um, she did say, though, that it wasn't it wasn't something of this plane. It seemed more like a, some like a kind demon. of yeah, demon or devil. Go to the general store! Away! Right. Yeah, you know, we didn't hit the general store when we were there, so yeah. Okay, so... You guys get there, it's a decent sized building, it's uh as you walk in it's manned by this, as I'm going to roll a couple dice here. Creating a new character on the fly. Yeah, I know, because I had to do that yesterday, so I know exactly what to do now. The half Kenku. No. <laughs> as you guys get in there, it's uh being manned by a... Half human, half human? Te an older teenager. Uh, odds evens. That it, a female teenager, about 16, 17, as uh, she's just sitting there uh, moving some stuff around, goes like, oh, hello, how can I help you today? Uh, hi. 
Uh, and someone else want to help me out with talking here? Cause yeah, Mr. We're, look we're, we're looking for basically a demon. Seen any around? Uh, I Boy, mean, bury the lead. Why don't you? I mean, uh, I saw some tieflings earlier. Do you happen but... to know? Right now what... she thinks we're racist. <laughs> Maybe, like, while while she's talking, may I kind of, like, surreptitiously look around through this, like, look around the store? Just... Hey, here's your question. Are you using your hands or just your eyes? Um. Your feet? <laughs> I would go with just eyes at first, but, she, like, you know, walking around a little bit. Like, okay. not just standing in one spot. Then it's a perception check. Okay. That's a perception check. <laughs> You don't really catch anything. He goes Can like, I look around? Yeah. Are you using your hands or eyes? My eyes. Okay. <laughs> wow. Level 14. You're walking around. No room for interpretation. Um. You do walk around and eventually you do find like. Some strange markings on a door near the bottom. Hmm. Only Adrian sees this, though. Yeah. Wait, Only Rachel like... and Rogan knew these can't. Okay. I, what, you mean... So, there's a door? Like, a small door? It's, what do you mean by on the bottom? It, it's a door. The Right underneath the handle, there's a couple scratch marks. Okay. Do they look like... Uh, some sort of... Like, some sort of thing to ward something off, or, like, to give out information that something's here? I guess roll a nature check to determine whether they're, like, an animal or handmade. Oh, unfortunate. Rip. <laughs> uh, you're looking at, like... You, they definitely look like animal claws. It doesn't look like somebody maybe like took a dagger or anything like that. It looks like something scratched it. Okay, I'm gonna kind of, you know, nonchalantly nudge uh, Jemima and point towards the door. Can I examine the door quietly? Like, sure. I mean, <laughs> roll a nature check. I'm, I'm shorter, so I probably see the doorknob better. That would be about three feet. Undeniable off. logic. Ah, uh, so that would be what? Nature. nature? Yeah. <laughs> Double Tiefling. fourteen. Tiefling. Yeah, definitely, definitely looks like an animal made this. It's not like it was a same thing. Basically, it doesn't look like somebody took a dagger and made these. Like trying to convince anything, it definitely looks like animals made this. Like, could it be something with claws? Like a humanoid creature with claws. You can't really tell. Pip followed us. You can just tell that it this. wasn't made with like a weapon or some kind of tool. Okay. Well, if you want to continue trying to get information, Nitz, I'm sorry, I interrupted <laughs> you. Um. Uh, <laughs> well. Kind of. So you know. they basically mentioned. Well, we're not looking for the tieflings, but actually, they might be able to help us find our lead. Would you happen to know where they are? Um. I think I saw them heading towards... Let's see if she knows where they were heading. Where did my d20 go? Um... Maybe... I think they were heading towards one of the inns, not up on the... more towards the top. I think they've been staying there for the last few days. Alright. And have you ever seen a tiefling... Uh... Don, I don't remember his description. <laughs> um, the description of Tibble. <laughs> yeah. Red skin, uh, sort of curved horns, floppy black hair, sort of brushed over onto one side of his face. Uh, uh, little goatee. Um, fancy dressed. I mean... I don't think I've seen a tiefling like that, but I saw a guy fancy dressed with a goatee. Oh, he might actually that he might have been. He might be. Disguised. He likes to disguise himself. He has been. 
uh, like a little tiny goatee just on his chin, sort of really fancy green clothes. Uh, when did you see this guy? Um, maybe four or five days ago. Maybe seven. <laughs> did, um... so. Four to seven days sometime ago. Sometime late last week. Was what are you, Amazon, reason? when you don't have Prime? Uh, uh, what was he looking for? Do you know? Uh, he came and looked around the shop. Um, got Amazon. a couple, like, rope and tools, but that was about it. Look, he's uh, probably a thief. Do you happen to know where, uh, which way he went? Ah, uh, once anyone gets out that door, I don't really know. As you turn around, there's no windows near the door. Did he happen to say anything when he came in? No, just that he needed some gear and that was it. Alright, well, I'm going to suggest to everyone else that we go towards gonna, the inn. Before, before, we, before we head out, I'm just going to start a quietly motion... The ream over and see if you can get a better reading on the marks on that door because now that we know that Tybalt's actually been around, you know, we maybe should... there's maybe that's something important. You might want to convince Lay or the ro have the robot distract the shopkeeper. Oh, yeah. I was uh, actually planning uh, on uh, doing some distraction. Um, oh, what do you have available distract. for potions of healing? <laughs> Oh, uh, well, she goes and she pulls out this, uh, nice little bin. We've got a couple things here. We got your standard. Uh, we have some of my specialties, actually. Ooh, tell me about them. Um, As I they... kind of motion for them to get on with it. Uh, oh, dang! Oh. <laughs> that <laughs> noise, <laughs> dude, just made... Dan's at 20 and just finally did it. <laughs> As, like, As, like, you're looking at it, you put your hand on it, and you notice that when you touch it, there's this weird sub... It's this weird yellow powder on your hands. Um... The demon markings. It it definitely smells like rotten eggs, once you get, like, really close. So would I know what it is, or...? It definitely smells like sulfur. Okay, I just wasn't sure if my character would know this. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> I mean, with that 20, I'll give it to you. All right. I'm going to point out to uh, Jemima and Adrian, since they were the ones looking at the door, what it is. Be, hey, uh, guys, this is sulfur. Uh, can we make, like, an arcana check on it? If it's, like, is it, it would it be arcana or something like that if we wanted to investigate closer or try to figure out what it is? I'm sorry, stuff? what are you trying to do? Trying to figure out like what like what the mark is. It's there's sulfur in it, which I'm I'm guessing it's not a you know dog coming up and scratching the door or something, unless it's a hellhound, which I don't think is possible. <laughs> Someone would have seen something. Danny, can I use my dog to find <laughs> it? <laughs> so you want you want to summon a hound <laughs> to take a look around? Is that what you're trying to say? I think you need a target to summon it. Yeah, the you do. It was. The uh, so target would is that be an investigation check if we wanted to check closer, or like, is it some kind of magic symbol that would require Arcana? Uh, I mean, to look further at the sim at the claw marks. Yeah. I mean, with that twenty, you definitely know that. Yeah, no, that wasn't an animal that made that mark, but so... it was something that was naturally had claws. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna, I, I, I'm just gonna come out and be like. Ask the shopkeeper. You know. right, before you do that, let me finish <laughs> talking to her because I'd like to. I am mean, actually legitimately curious about these specialty potions. Uh, basically, her specialty is that they are better healing. Um, she sells them for uh, about seventy-five gold, but they do two d six plus two. Um. Okay. Now let me just do some mental math. Uh, 154 would be 300. I can take... I'll get six of those. 
six. Yep. So I've got oh. 500 gold, so. <laughs> okay. So write them out. Write them down as uh, enhanced potions. Right, six enhanced potions, and so uh, just can you type in chat what the uh, the roll is for him, and I'll make a widget. Two six plus two. Two d six plus two. Yes. Okay. All right. We good? Yep. All right. Um, well, time to ask the shopkeeper. Hey, uh, why is there these claw markings on this door with sulfur? I'm sorry, what? Over here. And I'm going to point exactly where it is and show them, you know, the yellow powder. Insight check. Sure, I'll insight them. Insight her her reaction. But I think they're fine. <laughs> oh wait, no, uh, that was Skye's. She, she definitely looks at him like, I'm sorry, what's this? Okay, well, so with the 18 insight, it, I didn't see anything up. Yeah, no, there was nothing up. All right, well, I'm going to show them then the powder and the claw marks on the door. I'm going to be like, if you didn't know about this, it looks like someone was trying to rob your store. She's, like, instantly taken back, like, what? That that can't... And she's, like, she unlocks the door. And it's like she walks back there and leads into a back room. Do you mind if I follow you? Um, maybe. I mean... It's. I don't think anything's gonna come of this, but it might be safer. All right, I'm um, gonna go back there in case there's somebody back here. Uh, I will go with because, you know, mission and all. Curse buddies. Where she go, Johan go. And I will be a uh, you know good person stay, and keep an eye on the front like, of the shop to make sure no one else walks at the yeah. door and steals stuff. Or we can we can park Johan in the in the door to the shop. No. Well, <laughs> Johan said he was following you. Oh, all right. What about Adrian? Okay. Is Johan gonna? Sit I'm just back sitting there? down. All right. Well, Adrian stayed in the front of the shop too. <laughs> I'm just sitting in a chair. Away from Johan. Just give me one moment here. I'm grabbing one thing. Johan's a very spooky robot who hits really hard. <laughs> you learned your lesson. Yeah, hey Sky, remember that time I showed off a Stormbreaker roll? Look at what damage that would have done. Eight. Eighteen. Oh. That's oh. not that much. Eight plus ten. That's a normal yeah. roll. Where did I put this thing? So instead as you guys get back there, let me just put some tokens on this That's map. He's not raging. Tokens. Dun dun dun. Uh it's gonna be mimics. <laughs> <laughs> the whole shop is nothing but mimics. The how the so, building so itself. Dawn, the building is a mimic. <laughs> the fact that you said that makes this funny. The oh. shopkeeper. Oh. Is the shopkeeper a mimic? No. God, I wish I would have thought of that. <laughs> I don't think humans can be mimics. Yeah. That is not true. Yeah. Why not? They they can mimic. Oh no! It's a, it's a. I've seen this dusty room before. Oh fuck! Hey, no. wait yeah. a minute! No, there were there was a mimic in here last time. <laughs> I said, remember this room. That's why I said there it's were very funny. Last time, there were spider mimics. All right, so Adrian and uh, Lay were in, staying in the front. Okay, and I was gonna grab a token for. Actually, you know what? I don't know what that is actually. Here, so no, that way my library save rolls. tokens need you okay so you did guys it... are in this pretty decent storage room in the back didn't something similar happen to what <laughs> at the beginning when we went in a place and the I stuff was stolen no clue what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> that was in Jonah's shop yeah no it wasn't it's the um basement of that restaurant. Oh, that the, like, yeah. Remember? Yeah. The spiders. Yeah. All right. Well, NPC is guiding us right now. Well, at this point, I would say everyone, if you want to look around, roll investigations. Investigation. Okay. Hey, twenty-three. Seven. Fifteen 
And I'm gonna have I'm gonna have my guard drake uh use perception because mm. that's all it has. But it has like a plus two. Okay. <laughs> does the guard drake smell anything? It does not smell anything. <laughs> it doesn't. It's just like it's sitting down like yawning. Most hag has. <laughs> I ain't <laughs> I ain't getting into so, this. Zareem, yes. As you're walking around, you definitely feel there's something off with this room. Hmm. It's almost like there's something, there is something in here, but at the same time you're looking around, there's nothing in here. Well, I don't have, like, skills to sense. Like, I'll just be like, something's like you up. Def it's... You definitely feel there's something here. Uh, I'll ask the NPC if anything seems to be missing. I don't see anything missing, um... I guess... I mean... I just, I don't see anything's missing. Do we have any, uh, other, uh, I'm gonna call Lay, and I'm gonna oh, ask okay. for some of his, uh, ball bearings if he has any. Um, I... Or just for him to pull them bearings. out. I'm going to ask you, what do you want them for? Do we have a bag of flour? That could work. I don't think we have flour. Um, let's see. Torch, what? Ooh, a I mean, it's a general store. Flour plus might. a torch is a fireball. They they might have flour. It's a general store. Yeah, but see if we touch something. All right, I have 2,000 ball bearings. How many do you need to borrow? I don't know. Like, just... I'll, I'll tell Lay to throw the ball bearings at, like, the chests and boxes. Just one ball bearing. I'm assuming, like... <laughs> Softly, like, <laughs> toss them just to see if it reacts to being touched. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna um, inform the. To for that? I'm, I'm gonna inform the NPC that something seems off in here. Uh, Ghost, as soon as you enter the room, roll perception check. Alright. Turtle sees nothing. <laughs> so only I am. I mean, you definitely feel something's here, but you don't see anything. Oh. Uh, well, you can use let your me, uh, thing. Throw a divine sense, then. Yeah. I was wondering when you guys remember that he has that. Yeah. Hey, was... it's not my skills. And to, I was to... thinking that he, he should use that, but I didn't know if it was something that would help. Let me look at this quick. I knew it. <laughs> okay, you do sense. It's like you don't sense a thing. You sense something that's residual. Okay. And it's uh coming from around here. All right. Well, I'll let people. I'll let the party know that somewhere around here is uh, the energy, or you know, something. Oh, that's why I can't click. Load. So I guess I. Stand so that way you guys get extra save rolls. <laughs> I guess if you're all in here trying to look around, I will say one person give me an investigation. Uh, I have five on that. So. Yeah, Nets do yeah, it. Yeah, Nets. Oh no, there was a 20 in there! <laughs> <laughs> the Danny. 2 was a 20 and then the 5 bopped it! Danny. What? Since I entered the room, do I get my perception check? Yes. This guy stole my roll. And this makes a lot more sense because this is something similar to what you work with. Okay. As definitely you feel there's something right in front of Dawn. Hmm. Uh, be careful over there. There's something just right in front of you guys. <laughs> the NPC's like, no! No, no! Uh, ma'am, I'm sorry. So the... as, like, Johan lifts up his fists and smashes down the box, you guys see this faint green light coming from the corner. Of the box, or? From the corner of the inside of the box. Johan, don't do that again. Direct solution. Johan? Johan. That thing just made a noise. <laughs> I'm gonna look inside the it's box. What we're looking for, we don't want to damage it. Daddy, I'm we looking look inside, inside the, box. the box. Okay, uh, you see this faintly green glowing vial. I'm gonna jar. Pick it up. Be very, vi uh, actually, uh, you should let me do that. I have the acid resistant gloves. Okay, it might not be acid. <laughs> if it's a, if it's what I think it is, it probably is. I'm gonna reach for it. Okay, the second that you touch it, it's just in the back of your head. You hear a. 
<laughs> it's a vial of zombie. As ghost, instantly in the back of your head, you feel something flare up. As a... Hmm. Oh, oh, boy. As, like, instantly as the jar is touched, uh, this dark rift, like, be thing begins to open. Wait. <laughs> Am I on fire, Danny? <laughs> Uh, I'll, no. I'll turn to the shopkeeper and be like, you may want to close up shop for a minute. He goes and you hear a <laughs> click. <laughs> you guys deal with it. Okay, I met the front door, but sure, lock us in here with the creepy shadow thing. That works too. Uh, ghost, look to the... What yeah. is that? What? Okay, oh. then. Um, oh, that's as a... this thing steps out. Is that an undead? Have I actually been able to pick up the... Oh yeah, you have it in your hand. Okay. The second you touched it is when everything started going down. Can it's I look at it? It's a medium. A medium? Like, is it... it is a dragon egg. thought so. Um, I'm gonna doubt so, that it so... fits in my bag of holding. Yeah, no. <laughs> Just so people can see this thing clear. Cool. I'm a fucking flesh monster! <laughs> is it a zombie? It's or undead, I mean? No. Looking. Ghost, it doesn't pick up as undead or anything. I'm a flesh monster from the abyss. Well, you know, I'm just thinking we should have had some place. As it turns to... and cocks its head and do we uh, so... roll initiative? Yep. I was just thinking. Give me one second. We should have. You're good. Like thought ahead and, and went. We need a place to store a dragon egg. Should we find one? <laughs> really, with two initiative rolls. I don't think it fits in my bag of holding. Ghost, it makes wow. you feel better. I had two initiative rolls too. If it makes you both feel better, I only had one. Okay, time to see what it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have your plus ten, Sky, so we all be even? I'm not Take alert. Selected. Get from five decks. How much decks does it take? Uh, five decks and alert. Yeah. Plus oh, five decks. decks. Sorry, twenty decks. Yeah, twenty decks and alert. Yeah. My decks is eleven. It's because you're not dex based class. Do you need your initiative fixed on, or what? Oh, I need, I didn't have my token click, uh. so I needed to fix it, yeah. I wasted my misty step running from Johan. And you yeah, still you got caught. Yeah, you did. Unlucky. Hey, I didn't get caught until I came back. Okay. And then I almost tore your fucking head off. So here's how I'm going to do this, just because I want to leave this guy blown up so people can see him. When you blow him up like that, he looks like one of those, like, peel peel stickers you get for all yeah. when they put on I, yeah. I see it, though. I'm sorry, it wasn't like dropping. Out of Danny DeVito. I have the book yeah. in my hand. All right, I'm not dropping another right. 50 for this <laughs> book. Me. Hey, let's play The prices Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so that NPC token is the demon yeah, there. Yeah, that is... It, it, it's Edward... Five hand scissor knife it is, hands. It is Edward five necromorph hands. hands. It has yeah. five Edward hands. Edward needle arms. Yeah, there you go. There's a good one. <laughs> Wait, you said it has five arms? It has five arms. Five opportunities to tear an arm off. Five arm Joe. Oh my god, Johan. <laughs> okay, and with that, Sky, you have the Crackin floor. like a wishbone. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> what? It is mm. my birthday. Mm. I'm already liking this monster more and more. I read uh, it. Oh, you no. guys shouldn't have. Punch. Punch? Punch. Smack. That probably misses. Uh, that does. Smack again. That hits. AC shit. Got it. Stunning strike. Ah, oh, damn it, you're gonna make me do a con save. Yep. <laughs> oh, he oh. just met it! Oh. Does it have a negative con, Danny? It does not, it passes. Okay, well... Does it have a positive one? Hold on, I need and... to... I need to look at... I need to see and... if this... I'm trying something different here, guys, so... I'm sorry if this seems a little confusing. DM's hiding okay. the rolls. I can show this. Okay, I'm gonna flare your blows as well. Okay. How much damage was that? Fifth? Ten. That was ten damage. That's also awesome another. That was close to a crit. Another ten. Okay. 
Okay. Ooh, that messes. You don't have to have that attribute thing where you get crits at 19, right, Sky? No, that's a... I think that's a only a barbarian thing, unless you have, like, a... a... That's a fighter Wait. thing. Okay, what? a hit, hit, miss. Okay. Okay. So, Nitz, you're up. Uh, Alright, um... First things first, we're gonna move right over here. Danny, I'm using the staff. Okay. What spell are you casting? Lightning bolt. Okay. Thank God, don't use a fireball in this closed area. <laughs> um. Roll the wild magic. Okay. Oh God. What's 100? I want to roll 100. It's you get all your sorcerer spell slots back. Oh. Or not spell slots. <laughs> 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 It's not your spell slots, it's your it's sorcery, sorcery points. points. Well, I don't then have any... Ex- and it's left to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, a, it's a throwback to episode, uh, what, two? Where I hit Bob? Yeah. Uh, Alright, Danny, uh, uh, good to cast a spell? Okay, so, also, as, like, you're, you're pointing the spell, you see that the staff starts to flare up, but it instantly calms itself. Okay... <sighs> Flare up as in it catches on fire, or what? Um, like like the black flames begin to start to ember out and burn again, but then it instantly puts itself out. Okay, but am I? Does the spell go off? Yes. Oh God, I that needs to get fixed. Um, let's see, eight d six. Plus... 86 plus 2d6 per level. Yes. Uh, you're rolling it two levels above. So 1d6 per w- level. 10d6. Okay. I'm sorry, what? You're rolling it's... at level 5. It's an 8d6 spell. It gains 1d6 per level. Yeah. You're firing at level 5. It's two extra levels. 10d6. Does this thing have some... Wait, same, I have a dex save. Same scaling as Fireball. Y- yeah. I have a dex save. Yep. But that's still half. Jesus. Nice one. Only one one, though. I'm surprised. I only see okay, one on the thing. Okay, so what's the save? No, there's only one. Oh, well, it looks like there's two on my screen. Is it All a right. 17? Um, that's my DC? The staffs. Uh, Which, yeah, 17. Okay. You're oh. fucking kidding me. <laughs> yes. That's still half damage, so that's 12 damage, right? No. That's uh, more, uh, 14, 14 damage. 17. Is it 15? Yeah, 17, minutes. yeah. My brain is not functioning, alright? Mine's functioning perfectly fine today. I'm happy about it. <laughs> well, still, hey, that's more damage. You. <laughs> is it my turn now? Uh, yep. no. Uh, I'm, I got my, uh, dog. Doggo. Dog attack! Danny invents the turn order. Uh, the dog is gonna appear right here, behind Sky. Okay. Uh, the NPC, I mean. And I need the dog's sheet. Is that void portal still there? Just chilling. Are you summoning it there, actually? Uh, <laughs> no! Yeah, 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 you said that's exactly where you're summoning it. Well, you summon it, and the dog starts to, like, fall in. Well, it's the dog's turn. <laughs> dog attack. Um, uh, if that dog lets go of the ground it has, it's going to fall in. I'm gonna have it hold on to the thing. I'm gonna have it bite it. And hang on. <laughs> okay, roll to hit. Also, I should mention that this room is dimly lit. That hits. Oh, fuck. Oh, Did we get, like, no. a magical light spell? Because this dimly lit stuff yes. we need to really Yes, we can. Remedy. There are multiple, multiple lights to do literally that. Literally any spell that says light. So it's going to be holding on to that thing's, I guess, what, leg, arm? Body One part? One of its five arms. <laughs> I'm partial to okay. the middle left so, one. So I'm just going to say... <laughs> That it gets the grapple off, but it's not going to be prone. Yeah, that's fine. I can't wait to be stabbed five times by this thing. Oh yeah, you, it goes before I do, so I can't come over oh, there wait. to help. I didn't even... This thing has been hitting things, and it hasn't been knocking them prone. No. I didn't even know I had a DC to throw for that. So, it says it right there. Okay. Something to note, Nitz, the second that it bit down, 
the wolf tried to retract its teeth to sink it in deeper, but it couldn't. It's like it bit into, like... A mold? Like, what? Like a mold? Like It's like it bit into something, and then whatever it bit into instantly hardened. Um, You um, bit into glue. Yeah. But is it holding on to it is the question. Yeah. Okay, that's that's what I wanted. Okay. Is it my turn now? Yep. I am going to do something that I haven't been doing before. Um, I'm going to enter in a frenzy. Oh, oh. if you want to link that for the fans? Yes. And for me. <laughs> Don't you take an exhaustion point? After doing? combat, I do! When the rage ends, you take it. Yeah, it says when your rage ends. Mm -hmm. Dude, shoot, motherfucker! So what? What is uh, explain exhaustion? There's varying levels. They do bad things. Look out! Tired. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, <that's laughs> nice. Bladed out, by the way. I'm sorry. What? Bladed. When he has a one level it, of exhaustion, add the, add the two. It didn't. He has yet. disadvantage on ability checks. So that's twenty-one mm. damage. Okay. Second hit. That's six. Eighteen damage. Eighteen damage. Did you fix it that time, or? Yeah, the rage got added. Okay, so. Because it's effectively nine plus nine. Eighteen damage, and then. Is that it? No. And would he have advantage Wait. since the dog's holding on to it? Correct. No. Yes, guy. Where'd your third hit come from? Frenzy. You would have to use if a bonus If you do so for the duration of your rage, you oh, cannot wait. use that on the first turn. Can't use it. Right. Wouldn't have hit anyways. Ha ha! Yeah. No, nice. you you basically allowed him to get away with that. Now it's its turn. Yes. Yes. Danny, fix the turn order. Give me a moment. I'm putting my pen down. <laughs> you know what? Here's what I'll do. I'll put it in backwards so I can just instantly have it again. You see, the fool was you. I never even made that attack. Sky, you okay, have advantage so now. It's turn. As uh, it is going to pick somebody. Oh boy. <laughs> Please be the dog. <laughs> hey, you leave Shadow out of this. The dog literally can come back whenever. We can't. That's not true. Well. <laughs> There's a limit to revivify <laughs> it. I can come back if I get killed. Adrian can. Johan yeah. can. Johan can. As it looks at Nitz and just starts walking. Well, that oh. means everyone's probably gonna get an attack of. Yep, Doggy even Whoa! gets. Whoa! Dog is being dragged. It can't bite. Oh! <laughs> are you? Are you within? No. Just 15 hit, Danny. Uh. He's I within... sure am. You can re-roll that. Hiya. Does 15 hit, Danny? No, it does not. It's AC 16. Okay. Well, well, a... As it gets over there AC. and uh, hits. Um, here's going to be the question. What's your AC? <laughs> Way more than that. What's your AC? Uh, 20. That hits. Uh, what? He's not showing its plus. Okay, well... That... It's, I have a plus eight. Plus, I don't know if seven. I should shield. That's the problem. I don't know its plus. That's what he's doing. He's trying to make you... He's Let's removing see. the ability for us to do easy math on the enemy yeah. to make the more... Yeah, because normally you're not supposed to. Yeah, right, you well... guys are still going to see the, the base number, but then you have to choose. I'm, I'm trying something I'll different here. I'm trying to spice up combat a little. I'll you activate shield. shield. Okay, it does not hit. Uh, shield is a slot one, okay. So, so that means from there it we can infer it has less 12. than a... Yeah, less than a plus 12. Um... It's probably like plus 10. It has at least a plus 7. Maybe a plus 9? 
Was it probably a, a plus seven, eight, or nine? <laughs> Remove the ability to math. Going to try. Well, it's yeah, it's we don't know. We yeah, we don't know immediately. I know. We have to math it out ourselves. It's like figuring it out. It's uh, AC. It, it's dragging my dog around. It's definitely. I mean, it got it out of the hell portal. Yeah. That's but it nice should it definitely is. have a disadvantage on attacks. <laughs> it has five arms. It, it, it can just choose not to attack with that one it, arm. It's what's your AC at the moment? To, uh, 25. Okay. Crit? Yeah. This next one's coming at you. Okay. I already used and my reaction. It's like one arm just like, you watch as it pops out of its socket. D yeah, it has a what? extends? A 15 foot range? I can tell you right now that that messes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is uh, this isn't your average monster. It's javelining its arm Wait, at you. Wait, did it eject it or is it now an? Extra you heard this horrible popping noise as like it hormone punched you. What? Oh, I don't get that reference, Danny. It's Jojo, it's, it disconnected all of its joints to give it a little more reach. Dislocated or whatever. As like it misses, you hear this horrible popping noise that goes back into place. Hey, well, that's horrifying. Okay. Dawn, you are up. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um. Darn it, I don't have a whole lot of cool things I can use against this. Polymorph it into a teacup. And then it would just eventually come back anyway. Toss it in the portal. Polymorph Johan into a giant monkey. There's not space in here. <laughs> Um, you can rip arms off really good as a giant monkey, though. Also, it can't work on me. I'm a construct. Yeah, I know. I... Do it does it? <laughs> Cannot be used on undead or constructs. <sighs> Darn it. I feel like I I'm sorry. I'm not really prepared. I'm just like, I don't know what to do against this thing other than, like, sword. <laughs> Mock it. I mean, yes, Dawn, get close. Mock it in its stupid bones. I don't want to get bones. close. That thing's gonna hurt. Mock it in its stupid bones. And I've bones. got an egg in my hands. That the actually egg. is something in front of the um, <laughs> Oh, what should I say about this thing? What can't you say about it? Look at it. It has bad bones. It needs to drink its milk. Actually, Polymorph doesn't say anything about that. Oh. Darn it, I don't have all my... All my vicious mockery stuff up. Uh. <laughs> my dad's feet Your smell better than you. Your mother was a pair you. of scissors. <laughs> that fails. <laughs> But has a very low wisdom. <laughs> Either that or Wait, Danny. Dawn fails or the creature fails? The creature, creature fails. fails. Okay. So how much damage was it, Dawn? Uh, five. Second. And it rolled 2d6, correct? Yeah. Uh, it was 2d4 because I'm not using the ring. Oh. Right, I have my pen backwards. I just rolled on my arm. <laughs> Good job. Good oh. job. <laughs> Big oof. Okay. Uh, ghost. Well, I'm fighting with my cap because I just dropped it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, okay. Drake. That should... Damn, okay. <laughs> Damn. You gave it to me. Yep. Um. Alright. Bye. That yeah. hits. Okay, so that is that number. That also hits. Yay! What was the damage? Uh, eight bludgeoning. Mm. Okay. Okay. So those were good hits. Ghost. All right. Um. Oh, are we getting? Oh. I'm a little concerned <laughs> about us all being close, but I only have close range attacks, really, so, you know. We forgot also, to... can't get away if we pin it. Uh, is, though, I roll for shield, by the way. Yeah. Oh, oops. Do you want me to do that now, or do we hold off? 
I'll say your next one, you roll a disadvantage. Wait, what? Just roll one now. Just roll the wild magic, yeah. I didn't, yeah, I didn't understand the disadvantage. You rolled twice, take the lower. But that's not, like... That's not how... Well, it's also, like, there are good ones on the lower and bad ones on the higher. Exactly. But... <laughs> There's butterflies around me. Yeah. Alright. For that well... next minute within ten feet of me. Fucking Christ. I wade into the flock of butterflies that has suddenly spawned. <laughs> Let's see. I'll draw a square for You're that. So pretty, Zareem. <laughs> um, wow, that's, that's a... That's so, a so, 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 here's... That's actually a bad one. That's a big radius. Um, everyone with... Oh. Oh, Dawn. Uh Oh, no, what? I just realized you hit him with melee. Uh-oh. <laughs> Nitz, how much HP does your dog have? 37. It's dead. What? <laughs> I'm sorry? As, like, Dawn smacked it, you watched as, like, the dog yipped and just disappeared. I'm sorry? He'll come back. So did the dog get in the way of the hit? No. Something about it being attached. I mean, Johan hit it too. And so did Sky and... Hmm. Okay, well. The attacks that they hit after it attached... Oh, they did attach... So yeah, it's been gone for a while. Oh, it didn't affect anything for Nets, I don't think, right? Yeah. Yeah, not really. I'm so sorry, Wolfie. Fortunately, that gets rid of my murder sandwich. Yeah. Um... Also, Ghost, here's the issue. Mm hmm With those butterflies, um, I'm going to say since it says all around within 10 feet, mm -hmm. any th uh, melee attacks uh, have disadvantage. Okay. Or just attacks have disadvantage because he's kind of in partial cover now. It's your right. issue. Um... Does the monster also have disadvantage? Yeah. We're all impartial to Carver? Cool. Yeah. I mean, unless it has... Yeah, no, it doesn't have any blind sense or anything. Oh, there's... Uh, it's not just butterflies. It's flower petals, too. I know. That's why there's the disadvantage. All right. Please so... do not draw butterflies in flower petals. That's not me. Oh, I repurposed these maps. How do I... I'm, I'm using Hunter's Mark on it. Okay. <laughs> so it's... So that will neutralize the disadvantage. Uh, I don't think Hunter Marks. That's you... not. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't give you any advantage. It gives you an extra d6 damage whenever you hit. Oh, well, what am I thinking of? Your channel divinity. Ah. It has been too long. Well, I've Hunter's marked it because Turtle was to... distracted by butterflies. Nope, Hunter's marked. I mean, do it. Slap, yeah. okay. slap, slap, slap. Like, I mean, I already called the attack, so... Alright, that is a... That's a bonus action, right? Yeah. So, for my action, let's take some swings. That's a miss. He didn't even need this damage. That's a hit. And it doesn't matter on that one. <laughs> okay. And then you can add the d6. Yep, and then... And then, then the smite damage. Smite! And, yeah, Biggest let's... Point. This point thing smite. seems pretty uh, dangerous, so I'll do a tier does 2 smite. might take a bonus action? Nope. That nope. is a free thing you can do with you just no tack cost. it on. Really? Now, um, th you said this thing did not ping for... Undead, it did not. Okay, so I don't get any bonus damage, so I just roll the standard tier 3, or tier 2. Which is the undead <laughs> tier 1. Aye! So that uh, is a total of... So I want to point this out. 20... Between all 20? the hits that you guys have done... 23. 23. That attack looked like it did the most damage. What the fuck? Well, it's radiant I did, damage. I, I did okay. 20 damage in a single attack before. What the fuck? I mean... And the, like, half of my damage was divine. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the melee hit didn't do as much. But it, like, the second you hit it... It, like, looked at you, and then the second hit happened, and it was like, what? Uh, what's Divine Smite's typing? Is that a, a Radiant? 
Yeah. Okay. It didn't say on the thing. Oh, that was 16 damage. A big oof. Okay. Wait, how much damage? Okay. Adrian, you are up. Oh, boy. Well, I'm going to run over there. Not through the portal, but around Johan. Uh, okay. That gives you advantage there, too, no? Well, not advantage. Removes disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to smack it a bit. Okay. That's a hit. Okay. Stunning strike. What's the DC? 15? 15. That's a pass. So it's at least plus 3. Okay. That doesn't hit. Flurry of blows! Wait, what is 16 hit? I thought we hit with a 16. I don't have advantage. Oh yeah, it's neutral. That's also a miss. Yep. That one hits. A nine and six. You rolled a one. I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's my turn. Okay. Nitz, you're up. <laughs> well, let me uh, move myself. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and back up a bit, which means he's going to get that attack on me. Do the butterflies follow you? It says where I am. Let's see. Within ten feet of me for the next minute. Okay, so, Nitz. As, like, it look, turns to look at you. <laughs> Fuck my life. It also, it also does that at disadvantage, because the butterfly still. Yep. So roll another one. Let's see if you got another one. <laughs> It still nice. takes the one. As like you watched as two arms came out and tried to hug you. Ah. Oh, I wanted a hug. <laughs> All right. Well, um, since I'm back away from it now, what do I want to use? Yeah, since it wanted to give me a hug, let's give it a hug. Okay. So, is that, that is one of your spells? This is my spell, yes. Okay. D100. Roll the D100. 28. Does that work on the stone floor? Does that count? I got more butterflies! Actually, that's a good point. It's stone, not earth. Mm. I mean, it's not like it's a Any? wood floor or Well, actually, Whoa. you can see that's going to be the issue. Because the butterflies are technically obscuring your vision. Yeah, but so if you can still is fine, plus, but if the butterflies are Plus in the there's way. also double the butterflies and flower petals now. Well, I'm gonna say that he couldn't cast that spell because he can't see the thing. I would yeah. be able to see the floor. I don't have to see the enemy. Fair enough. So what are you trying to do here? I'm gonna cast it on the square where I was standing and have it grab it. Actually, Okay, here's the thing, though. Since it is obscured, roll a... Roll a d6. Four. So, it's just because it is obscured, you would have moved this way. Because, like, you don't know where you are in the room at this point. I mean, the butterflies it, wouldn't be it's the that same much. Is what happens with dark? With dark. Oh, okay, okay. So you're blinded by the butterflies. So when you wanted to move away from the creature, you moved a different direction than you wanted. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'd still be aiming at the floor I came from. But you cannot see the floor where you came from. Are are you, t Daddy? Are you telling me that these butterflies and flower petals are so thick I can't see any ground whatsoever? I, I've been saying that they count as obscurement. Okay. 
then the enemy shouldn't be able to attack me, period. That's why all attack rolls have disadvantage. That would be more than disadvantage, though. That's the, the, the biggest is it, like, that's the penalty you can give. Alright, well, there's nothing I can do then, because I can't see, apparently. I mean, is there any spells you have that don't require, like, a point where you can see? I mean, if I'm casting a spell, I got three allies where the enemy is. Just fireball a snitch. I can't, actually. My staff would break. Oh, oh, you're out of uses already? I've got... Well, I only got five back. Ah. You know what, Danny? <laughs> Can I change what spell I'm casting, then? Sure, what spell are you looking at here? It's the same tier. I'm gonna give myself Dragon's Breath. Okay, that'll work. D100. That, it, I already rolled the D100 yeah. for the... Just make sure that you do not touch a butterfly while you're touching yourself. Hey, idea. I'm giving myself cold. Okay. And I'm gonna fire it where in, you know, the direction I came from. So that's gonna hit Ghost and the NPC. Give me one second. And I'm sorry, Dawn... It's probably going to hit you, the Drake, and the Sky. <laughs> I think Nitz is, like, the biggest threat to the entire party dying. I'm going to clear oh, out the, the butterflies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a... If you snap it, it nukes the have world, a heart. staff. You have a CPU. What is That's that? my heart! <laughs> um, it warms your what CPU. The that? That's the cone. That's, that's a, not cone? a cone. That's not a cone. It's good enough. Well, no, like if you use half of yeah. that, yeah. It's so, a cone. Oop, I did not mean to do that. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it would be. By eighty. Uh, so ah. it, it's cold damage. So at least ghost, you're taking. Um, pro resist you resist it, that. Yeah. Wait, actually, Dawn, does your dragon resist acid? Uh, yeah. Let's gonna go ahead and change that if you don't mind, Danny. <laughs> I acid? Yeah. I mean, you kind of declared it already. Okay, yeah. never mind. Pepperoni, pepperoni, breathe cold, Yoni. Sorry, Don. It's okay. I tried. <laughs> so you're so, unleashing it? What uh, type of save is it? Uh, it's a deck save and half on save. So, 3d6. It's I take not, no damage. It's only 9 damage anyways. Da 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 Sky, don't you have a dodge ability, period? That's what he just said. He takes no damage. That, I take no damage. Yeah, I know, but do you even he have to roll? That. Yes. I need a dex save. Oh, yeah. Yes, Ghost, dex. I, I just have a guaranteed half. Use your half, shield. But if I, I succeed, then... Ghost, use your shield. My Oof. shield won't save that. Well, you're only Wait, taking... Do I have an advantage on, with my shield? Hold on. You're only taking four damage, Ghost. Okay, so my Drake takes nine. Uh, did, did you... you uh, deck save. Oh, deck save. You also get a uh, plus two. Because of my aura. Yeah, you only take four damage if you have a resist. She saved it. You got a 20. Okay, so how, how much... Four. Is and, uh, four unless you have a plus five to any, you don't save. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I already did the damage. Okay. So wait, I take four total or eight? Because I didn't save. You take nine. See, I didn't do that much damage to our team. Yay! <laughs> you didn't kill anybody this time. <laughs> hey, so what, yep. what happens to the butterflies in that direction? Still the same. For magic. <laughs> it's an illusion. It's not. Mm. Yeah. Uh... Wait, hold up. He, hold up. Danny, do you agree with the statement he just made? No, you do not get to see him because you're a robot. No. Do you agree with the statement that they are an illusion? No. That's literally what the description says. Illusory butterflies. Then yes. Nits, by acknowledging that they're illusions, you do, are not affected by them. That's how illusions work. If Wait. you can realize they're not an illusion, they don't Crit, have an effect shut up. It's so everything Crit, Danny just Crit, did. Crit, <laughs> no. No. 
No, bad. I think it it's work wild that magic. Way with Leave it alone. <laughs> it's wild magic. It, it, it's wild. not wild magic generated because of him. It's generated because of the cape. So the cape is aware that the butterfly. <laughs> but <laughs> hang on. By me casting a spell on them, I would know they're not real. Nitz, shut the fuck up. I've started a fight. I've <laughs> yeah, started you have. a riot. Yes, you have. This is all your fault. Uh, I can't really see him there. There's a lot of fucking butterflies. <laughs> okay, we can we can sort it out by making a like intelligence check to know if they're illusionary or arcana um, check. Yeah, that was my attack and, and uh, my action and my bonus action. So <laughs> I'm going in. <laughs> I'm slapping whatever I can. <laughs> it's double the butterflies too, by the way. Danny. Okay. So it's Danny. You had an idea of where Danny. it was beforehand. It would be at disadvantage. Wait, uh, Danny. Did you say your plan was going in and slapping Let whatever? Let me talk! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Deep breath. Reckless attack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh yes. Oh, I gain, yes. I gain advantage on all attacks that we uh, use a strength uh, as the roll for this turn. Thus, I make straight rolls. Yes. Yes. Miss. No. That hits. Now Danny. Fuck. Now Danny. <laughs> I have just hit that with 20 damage. Okay. How much damage did it actually do? You don't know. Did the lightning look like it did anything? Yeah. Crit, did you the can flashing take your look like attack. it did anything? I mean, it looks like it did something, just not as much as you were expecting. Uh, Crit, remember, my hound, it was like glue. I know, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm doing, I'm, I'm making reasoning and deductioning skills. So Danny, what you're saying is it didn't seem too affected by either the slashing or the lightning. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to flip it so that it is bludgeoning side and thunder side. Okay. Are you still in frenzy, by the way? That's a miss. Yes. That's for the entire duration of my rage, I'm in frenzy. Okay. That is okay. a miss. Okay. Hey, it's turn. It can't see. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now it can't see, crap. So, That's crit. a good point. It can't see. It doesn't know I'm there. No, it knows because you hit it. <laughs> okay, well then it has. it's making straight rolls. Because it also is affected by the butterflies and flower petals. Well, that wouldn't be advantage, that. Hey, what's your plus? That is a soft 20. Okay, he hits. Okay, as he reaches out and he hugs you. Oh. Take 25 points of damage. Oh what? my god. Um, let me do some quick math. Because I take half, remember? You'll hug that. Me. Activate your self destruct feature. I, I take half. I take half. That is a lot of damage for the squishies. <laughs> yeah, Good. that is. AKA most of the party. <laughs> hey, I'm not that squishy. How much HP do you have, Nuts? Uh, 68. That's very squishy. No. I have 20 AC Sky, 25 when I use my reaction. You okay, have to use so, your reaction. So, though. brother. And yeah. spell slot. There is an escape DC. Okay. If you wish to attempt to flee before it fully grabs you. So I have to make, I have to do that on my turn or this turn? This turn. What? What is it? Wait. Uh. Athletics. Nope, nope, it's on your turn. Okay. It's trying Which... to. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's a reason why this thing is here. Um, its turn is over. That's it. That's mm. it. Then they have like three attacks last turn. Oh yeah, it, had... it does have one extra attack. Um, it had two attacks. Yeah, it had two, but it only yes. made one attack this turn. Uh no, it's gonna make one more. Eeny, yeah. Meeny miny guard drink. Ooh. <laughs> it's just a hug. That's just a miss. miss. That is just still automatically going to miss. So I'm not even going to try to roll it. Wait, what's the guard drink's AC? Uh, 10. 14. Okay, that's an auto miss. Um, I mean, we determined what it's plus. It's at 7. Dawn, you're up. Uh, I'm kind of useless in this fight. Everybody's so, so, Crit, here's together. the scary thing. Yeah. Uh, it's 
right arm. Bottom. So, the way to look at it is this arm, this arm, and this arm have you have you locked in. Okay. And you are also frightened. What? How could a robot, robot be frightened? frightened? I'm looking at the stat sheet. It says you're frightened. I think Ooh, I'm immune is, to that. He has calculated he's... In, this one. Are you wait? Are you that aren't one. you like immune to being frightened while raging? Uh, wrong one. It's, it's this one. No, Danny pinged the top one. Uh, actually, that's a good point. I think I'm immune to because rage. Um, beginning at six level, you can't be charmed or frightened while raging. Cool. There you go. So you're not Fuck. frightened. Doesn't you just stop think it's giving you a at the beginning pleasant, of, or at the uh, end of your turn. What, Danny? Hi. I didn't hear you because Ghost was talking. Right. He so said it up. doesn't stop okay. what's going to happen on your next turn. I have two things I could do. Because I am kind of useless in the fracas over here. Do note you cannot see it. Were those the right arms, Danny, by the way? Yeah. Okay. Um, so it has two arms free. I doubt I can get over here, and I don't think I... I don't think that's a wise idea. You can't see right now? Yeah. The one thing I was thinking was looking at this... Thing up here. If I move up here, I don't know if dispel magic would work on that thing. Now go for not. it. Do it. You can attempt it. But I kind of want to look at that portal and see what's up with that. Okay. I mean, <laughs> if you want to investigate it, roll an arcana. Can I make the butterflies attack the target? <laughs> it. You're. You're. No, Barely certain, no. but you're not 100%. That if you would cast Dispel Magic at, say, a high level, it could possibly get rid of it. Well, dispel it. Magic with a check, though. Do yeah. it. Well, I have a fourth level slot, so... Uh... And I'll give that check to you as a bonus action. Fourth level. But she's so roll... casting it out of fourth... That's so the that means level it needs. I have. Yeah. Actually, there's no benefit. Um, it that just auto kills it. You still have to make the ten plus spell level if it's above fourth level. Yeah. There's no benefit of casting on a higher slot for you. Uh, the DC equals ten plus the spell's level. Yeah. So if it's if it's if it was a nineteen a ninth level spell. No matter if you used a 5th level spell or a 4th level spell, you'd still have to roll a 19 arcana. Yeah, you might as okay, well so use your 3rd. Yeah, I, th I, I guess... thought it was... Well, if you used a higher level, I was going to lower the DC. Yeah, that's what I... That's, oh. that's what the DC... Like, what raising the DC would do if it makes it a little easier. Oh, then use a 4th. Uh, so I've got to roll... Roll DC. Persuasion. Or no, you have... Do you have Expertise in Persuasion? Uh... Wait. Persuasion. It's, it's a, use your, um, it's your using your spell casting ability. Yeah, I have, I have expertise in persuasion. Oh, then just oh wait, it's not even your oh wait, using no, your like, spell casting ability. Yeah. So how how am I doing this? Like I roll, roll a charisma. Sorry. charisma charisma check. Yeah, I'm sorry, my brain's over here like scrambling to figure out what I'm doing. I didn't realize you don't get proficiency in this. Ooh. That makes it as the yes. rift, the rift just flickers out of existence. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, no more. Doesn't have an exit point, Suck so it. nicely done. <laughs> Suck it, Tybalt. <laughs> All right. And. Guard Drake. Uh, is this gonna hurt? Um, Johan, oh. if I do this. Mm hmm. <laughs> You'll have to find out. Hey, Johan, you up for some damage? Okay. <laughs> if, it, if it misses. Okay, so that hits. Take 18 psychic damage. Whoa. Me who? Uh, crit. What? You're taking 18 psychic damage, what? apparently. Oh, if we it. hit it, it's... Oh, oh no. Okay, when something's attached to it, it transfers some damage. I'm not gonna hit again. So how much how much damage? Eighteen psychic. Fucking Christ. <laughs> Does the Drake know that though is the question. 
It follows her orders. Yeah, but... Well, I'm assuming that Johan will go, ah! Ow. <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, because we'll stop that. Because that doesn't look like it's helping. Okay. Ghost, you're up. So, question. Hi. Um, so, my shield master trait allows me to shove. Does the shove break its grapple? Last no. time it moved, it dragged the person it was holding. Okay. Granted, I'd like to see it fucking try. <laughs> At this point, if you try to grapple it, its body's just going to shift and move to the other side of Johan. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't really have something. So, like, the goal is not to kill Johan. Rip the arm off, Ghost. You can if you tried. So is Hunter's marked for me? Can you? Um, how much damage just transferred? Nineteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. And off, how much damage was done to it? Seven. seven. <laughs> okay. Because what I was thinking of is I could use my claw and then divine smite when I just use my claws. So I do minimal physical damage and then a lot of divine damage, but I don't know if it'll transfer. Um, how damaged are you, Johan? 79 HP. How do you whisper someone? Out of... Uh, slash W and... 109. Jesus. Okay, so you're... Barbarians are very tanky boys. We get a D12 for our HP dice. Yeah. Alright, so for Divine Smite... Just I fucking have to... slap it already! <laughs> do you want me to hit it hard, or do you want to hit it soft? As hard as possible! Alright. Does healing magic work on... on Johan? No. Didn't think so. You guys he... have repair kits. Yeah, he needs repair kits. I can use them on myself. Alright, um... It's still in the butterflies, all right, so I can't change my thing, so... You're still doing a straight roll, because you know, Adrian, though. Yep. This thing's, uh... This thing's How actually got... butterflies good. last? One minute, ten rounds. Ten, yeah, no, ten, ten minutes. minutes. Six rounds. Oh. Okay, so... Longer than an episode. Oh, wait, no, one minute, never mind. So, crit? Yeah. <laughs> Longer than an episode. Uh, crit, 18. He hasn't even hit yet. He hit. Wait, I'm just damage. automatically taking 18 damage. Do you want me to roll it? I all right, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna take it that. I'm gonna take it with face. Because I'm just taking average at this point. Shut up! Stop talking. <laughs> the 25 okay. was average on the damage roll. Okay, so he took 18, yep. and then I'm going to level one divine smite on top of that. Okay, so just give me one second. That is that number from the base hit. Damn, Ghost. dude. Great job. Damn, I dude. 2d8, I got a 3. <laughs> Does he transfer any of that damage? Uh, no, it's only on the first hit. Oh, okay, then. Well, it's, okay. On, the, it's on the base hit. Oh. Divine Smite still... Doesn't matter. I missed. <laughs> Can or I did let you, you keep no. that, or did that you? one? Does, does Bountiful Lux say any, or opponents you can see? Uh, uh, she just like chooses, and she can just say no. I think it does say opponents you can see. If I can get my actual mouse to work, because it's not letting me scroll. I cannot scroll through. There it is. Wait, I can't scroll down my page. Nice. Did you hit stop. I have control. Lock. All right. Uh. Ally, you can see. Yeah. And there's part of me that's kind of like, I would <laughs> I'd keep you from re-rolling that just because we don't want to hurt Johan more than we Please have don't. to. He may actually just hit Johan with that. You never know. Okay. So, Ghost, is that everything? Um, yeah, because I don't want to swap my Hunter's... Actually, I am going to swap my Hunter's Mark off with my bonus action. Um, to who? To oh, no. what? I'm going oh, to... Oh, so do your uh, Hunter's Mark damage. Yeah, you didn't do oh, the Hunter's yeah. Mark. Alright, so there's the Hunter's Mark damage. I'm going to put the Shield of Faith on Johan. I don't know if it'll help 
having extra AC, Wait. but maybe. Oh, okay, I see. That was your bonus action. Yeah. Wait, doesn't it take your bonus action to drop Hunter's Mark? No. Okay. You can just cast a different spell, it doesn't. Oh, okay. okay. So, Sky. Yeah. You've heard your robot companion yell out. So, since there's no butterflies, like, around me, do I get full advantage? Disadvantage, because you're punching in. It gets normal rolls because it's punching out. It's all what? it's depending on the target is, Sky. <laughs> what kind of? Because it's no, where the no. target is. No, it would still have disadvantage because it's inside. It cannot see in or out, but you also cannot see in. Okay. These butterflies are like the most effective. I weapon am being in the fair man. about this. <laughs> well, that doesn't hit. That is a miss. <laughs> that is a hit. Stunning Crit strike. 18. I get it. I get it, Danny. That didn't work. Bonus action for your blows. That did. Yes. <laughs> that hits. Wait, no, it, no. Yeah, it does. I need to check this, but. So. I am three. Okay, I can do. I can do it. I'm gonna sing Shrek again. Okay, Sounds give like me one second. I've got one key point left. That's not good. Okay. Oh. That is a pass. I hate this thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my turn. Danny, am I able to retrace my steps to where I came from? You're in a bunch of butterflies. Yeah. No. It's the, you roll a d6 and you figure out which direction you go. Five. You do actually go forward. Okay. Well, I'm going to, was going back to where I was. So here. <laughs> I'm going to jump on this thing's back. I have a plan. Oh. Can't see it still. What would I roll, roll for that, Danny? A athletics at disadvantage. Sure. Could I have normal since it's uh, oh. the Drake's there? No. Because this is not an attack roll. That's a five. <laughs> yeah, but you're it's so. Not an attack it's roll. also it holding on to Johan. It's not, not an attack, attack roll. roll. I know, but it's holding on to Johan. It's not going to be able to dodge easily. You, you doing can't an, see it! It's an ability check. Alright, fine. I was gonna do uh, something, but I can't hit it that way. I'm gonna pull out my Dragon Slayer time. I haven't yes, used this in Just go nuclear while. option. Crack the staff on your knee. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Because we're all within, you know, ten feet of it. So. That won't be bad. I mean, since it wasn't explained that it was a uh, ability check, do you want to do something else? Um, I, I'm just gonna have to attack it then. Um, I would. Hmm. Hmm. I have an idea on what to do. So I'm gonna mm. use my dragon slayer. Okay, stop making noises. Wait. No, I can't use my dragon. Was I attuned to my dragon slayer, Danny, or was it... Doesn't require attunement. Okay, then I'm going to use the dragon slayer. That hits. I'm going to also use the gem in the dragon slayer. What does that do? Uh, I for Let's see, I'm... it's in here. Uh, 1d4 damage on spoken command, a.k.a. Burn! Oh, wait, I clicked the wrong one. Okay, yeah, no, that does have... That would... I forgot about the gem. Yeah, that would be, need attunement. Really? Yeah. But he can still swing it as a blunt weapon, just not use the gem. Yeah. All right, well or then... A bladed weapon. You never had me attuned to that, by the way. Well, now we Did know you make your hex blade? Yeah, it was. Uh, I was, uh... It was my hex blade thing, yeah. 
then you don't need to attune to it. It's your Hexblade. By it existing, you're attuned to Is it. Is that your current Hexblade? Yeah, because I'm, I'm not going to use the staff and use it. Okay, yeah, so then it would have the, that feature. Okay, well, that's 14 or 16 damage then. Well, three of it fire. It's a great sword? Yeah. Right. Okay, so that's... Why did you roll that separately? Okay, so... Why did I roll seven what Seven fire, separate? and then that... Uh, no, 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 not seven fire, just three. Three? Yeah, I you accidentally roll the rolled dice. the d6. So then... I haven't used the Dragon Slayer in a while. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How much damage are you taking? <laughs> 18. Are you alive still? Yeah. There's a lot of HP. Alright. Oh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll outlive the goddamn planet. Do I have a bonus action? Uh, okay. What you doing, Nitz? Do you got a bonus action? I'm looking to see if I... Uh... Smites aren't uh, a spell, right? Or are they? You do not have any smites. I'm pretty sure I have Wrathful Smite. You did not pick up the... Uh, that would be a spell you have to cast before the hit? Yeah. It only ghosts smites are retroactive because yeah. they're a class feature. There is a... But it says uh, as a bonus. Invoca like, there it is says... an invocation for warlock arcs called Eldritch Smite, which is a version of Paladin Smite. But you have to have that invocation. It, it doesn't say the, I have the, to the activate spell it. spell smites are a pre, like you coat your weapon kind of a buff. No, it literally like, says in the description, the next time you hit with a melee attack. Oh, yeah, I you see. you can't it, cast it, it after the melee attack. Yeah, I see. Never mind. Uh, do I have a bonus action? Because I'm not used to using actual... You have the hexblade thing. I don't have the a second attack thing. Right. Um, Hang on. I'm I mean, you to... can cast the Rascal Smite for the next turn. Oh, I see what yeah. you mean. I can cast any spell as a... Duh. I could use any spell as a bonus action. What? I have the Sorcerer feat. Okay. Um. I'm trying to think of a good one that's not going to kill... But the Smites are aut automatically a bonus action spell. It's... It's no, no, no. Any? What I mean is I'm going to use different spell. Okay, well, just... Please, uh, what are I'm, you doing? I'm going to cast... Uh, can I use Magic Missile, or is it because I can't see it? Tar you cannot see the target. You have to use Blind Fire. Okay, cast I'm, I'm going to use Chaos the Bolt on the guy. Does it say require you need to see the enemy? It just says make a ranged spell attack against the target. Can you link the spell? Uh, it's probably not entered correctly, let's see. Yep, it's not. Um, here you go. To make a ranged spell attack, you have to be able to see. Why it. did it post it in? Okay, so make a ranged attack. So it doesn't say that you need to see the target, so it'd be a disadvantage. Alright, um, how do I make a ranged spell? Because apparently it's not entered right. Roll a charisma faced attack. Just roll a charisma check. That's incorrect. That does not hit. No, no, he needs to add something he's proficient with. Because charisma is just charisma. But attack is you factoring your proficiency bonus. Okay, so and... Nitz, what is your proficiency bonus at the moment? Uh, three, so that'd be a 19. Or... That'd be a 16. So would And that would hit? just hit. Alright, so how do I, on a hit, target takes two, 2d6 plus 1d6. Then am I taking that 18 damage? Yeah. Cool. Uh, how do I... Okay, uh, hey! Hmm, 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 no, it's hmm. Okay. This is okay, this is okay, just let him end his turn. Just let him end his turn. TBA 1d6. Uh, Nitz? No, just just let him finish his turn. Let him finish his turn. No crit. Now go. No. <laughs> Hang on. One he, more. Th he, he also needs to roll a D100. Yep, I was doing that now. Crit, what's your AC? 19. 8. Plus 2. Oh, no! Hang That's on a second. Oh, 
no! Please tell me that's not Fireball! Oh, ah! <laughs> no! 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 Crit's no. dead. Crit's dead. What's going? He's going unconscious. You did not just kill Johan! Johan just suffered three death saves on one turn. Oh my god! You killed another party member! God damn it, Nate! <laughs> Hang on, you cannot blame me for that one. Everyone's been attacking. Shit. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. I take no damage. So... So here's... No! No! Crit's safe! Is he? No! No! Crit's safe! Is he? Okay. Oh my god! He... Let me I do math here quick! I Let me do math! Let me do math! Do your math. Fuck off, Nitz! Fuck off with... Oh my god! What just happened? So much happened in one Okay, turn. okay, okay. There's good news, and there's bad news. Crit had 7 HP before Nitz hit him. With the second hit, I think. Mm hmm So, he had, he had 7 HP, he went down from the Chaos Bolt. The damage, so, by the way, so was he, either... he would so, still have two... He would have no, two so, failed so, death so, saves. Then. He went perfectly unconscious during the Chaos Bolt. Then the Fireball happens. So that's two failed that death saves. That kills the Lost. Meaning it doesn't get its turn, and it doesn't do the 27 because he was still grappled. So, so we that very, means very precisely got the hell out mother of that fucker heal him combat ends it burns to a crisp and disappears you have somebody with one with if he fails again he's dead uh what do we need to do to i to have a stabilize? greater repair kit in my inventory use it roll use it now it. now oh. uh, is it greater potion no it's a repair kit have the roll for the repair kit what do i roll i'm gonna say it's that he's back Okay. I think, oh! I think Crit got a Crit, Crit, Crit left. Crit, Crit stood up and left the room. I definitely heard the. He door. doesn't. He doesn't realize he's still alive. Give me a moment. I'm gonna call him. Oh we should my just end god. Here. Yeah, that's where we're gonna end the session right now. Right. Holy crap! You can eat a giant bag of dicks. You're alive, alive, Crit. I know. I have my head set. All right. Well. <laughs> Hope you guys have enjoyed. Why if you do you have... keep doing that, Nick? <laughs> Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching, and a huge thank you to my patrons. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to make the content I do and do what I love to do. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye.